How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, new Barry Gibb content. Interesting, right? Um, yeah, I'm so used to like borderline black and white, horrible audio quality, horrible video quality, but we have something new here. Uh, it's Barry Gibb's words, um, his Greenfield Steel session with Dolly Parton. So without further ado, let's get started. <coughs> So I should just hold exactly. mine and you do yours because that's what your you do, thing. Yeah. That's... Okay, that's what I wanted to know because yeah. I thought, well, I can try to do that, but it won't sound as natural. Okay. Those little curls are amazing. Yeah. 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 The Appalachian stuff, they you do better than anybody else in the whole world. <laughs> well, because I'm so Appalachian. <laughs> 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 it's in my Smoky Mountain DNA. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is, is to work with everybody I admire. Oh. This is it's just a really big honor because you are responsible some, for some of history for me. When, when oh you God. produced Islands yeah. in the Stream and not only <laughs> produced it but wrote it, and our friend Kenny, you with know, my brothers. It's only words and words. When you called to see if I would sing on words, that's yeah. one of my favorite well, BG songs ever. Thank you. And I couldn't get here fast enough. <laughs> we were Studio B, where were Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson and the Everly Brothers and Elvis and Roy Orbison made so many incredible records. And one of the best in the world, Dolly Parton. When did you write? 40 years. <gasps> 40 years? I know, I know. Yeah, I've heard it for 40 years, but I never thought I was going to ever sing it. This is like the old days. We used to come in here at 10 o'clock, and by 1 o'clock, we'd dang near have a whole album done. <laughs> I'm singing with Dolly Parton. I'm standing in the same spot she stood when she sang I Will Always Love You. And Jolene. She did Jolene and Jolene. I Will Always Love You, I believe, in the same day. This world Glory. Let's start a brand new story. I got to stand there. <laughs> That'll make the hair stand on your neck, you know? If you're an emotional person and an emotional singer, right. and you get a song that has where the chords are just perfect, and yeah. the, what they say... Just what what's going on in your head and your heart, and that goes into the song. Talk in everlasting words. But you know what I got the most out of today, besides working with you, is getting to work with a live band here and yeah. doing it live yeah. together. And that you never get to do that yeah. anymore. No. Everything's so well, technical. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing like playing. Great keyboard player, great drums, great bass. You can't program that vibe. Of course, you can never fault Dolly. She gives you everything in one take. And she has a wonderful sense of humor. What are we going to do about my hearing condition? Oh, you don't want to? No. Not yet. Well, you will at the end of the day. No, I'm not hard of hearing. I'm just hard of listening. Yeah, well, I'm In words are all I have. I don't think her feet ever left the ground. I think she's very, very down to earth. That's what I like to see, where there's no ego. <sighs> You know what I miss the most about songwriting? I miss the word beautiful. And when I hear a song and it works for me, I think to myself, wow, that's beautiful. It's not about the groove, it's not about the beat, it's not about all that stuff. It's whether or not you get a sense of beauty when you hear the song. That's your take right well, there's there. good. Ooh, that stuff was good. We'll fix the stuff on that one and call it a day. Well, well it's then it's if I'm done, I'll go to church. It's right. Sunday. <laughs> we already skipped I'll on be, church today. You better make up for church it. Church is chicken. All right. <laughs> I think we did. This was yeah. a joy for me and, a, and a great honor. I, I'll Thank always you. remember this. Well, it's only words and words are all I have to take your heart away. Oh. 
Ah, good stuff. Super good stuff. Uh, interesting stuff. Um, you know, one thing I, th I think he's, uh, that Barry said that I thought was kind of interesting is he said that he decided he wanted to make an album full of people that he admires. And, you know, when you're Barry Gibb, you have that option to, oh shoot, my light's messed up. There we go. More light for me. Uh, you know, and uh, one thing that you have that big option you have when you're Barry Gibb is, you know, you're Barry Gibb. So, you know, you ask people to sing for you, they're going to sing for you. Um, that's cool that he has that opportunity to just, you know, cherry pick all the people he likes for this country album and just say, yeah, I want you. Come on down. Come on down, Dolly Parton, uh, which brings me to my number two, which is Jolene. Uh, I haven't done very much Dolly Parton, but I definitely have to. Jolene was a really good one. I really like that one. Uh, oh, and the last thing he mentioned is that, you know, he felt as if Dolly Parton had no ego when they were performing. Um, and you know, that's kind of a very difficult thing for musicians, uh, especially for singers. So I've heard, I'm not a singer, um, but I can speak for uh, a, a, an instrumentalist, you know, as, a, as an instrumentalist musician, well, I guess kind of was, um, you know, having that ego, it's, it's so hard to not have ego because you, you almost need that ego to say, I can hit that note every single time perfectly and in tune, you know, right off the spot cold. You, know, you have to have that ego to say like, oh, I can play this thing perfectly every single time. And, and I don't, some of you guys are probably going to argue with me on this, but like as a musician, I mean, you, you need that ego. You need that confidence to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I'm great. Because if you don't, you know, every time you screw up, it just kind of chips and chips and chips away at that, at that uh, confidence that you have. And before you know it, you know, you're questioning whether you can even play music or not. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a very difficult thing to play without any ego. That's my opinion on that. Um, super awesome video to see this. Great to see new Barry Gibb co uh, uh, content. Uh, super awesome. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next video.